And in this example, we're asked to find the enthalpy change in ethane when we combust ethane. And so we're trying to find the change in the enthalpy, how much energy is released or how much energy is received by this reaction. Now, since this is a combustion reaction, it's probably going to be exothermic, meaning we're probably going to release energy. We end up from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. But just to find out what that is, let's go ahead and say that the change in enthalpy is equal to the enthalpy of the products minus the enthalpy of the reactants. And so these are the products, and here are the reactants. And then, of course, for our convenience, we have a nice little table with the proper values from which we can draw the information. All right, let's first find the uh, enthalpy of the products. Here are the products. Let's start with carbon dioxide. And notice we have two moles in this equation. We have two moles of carbon dioxide, three moles of water, three and a half moles of oxygen, and one mole of ethane. All right, so starting out with the enthalpy of carbon dioxide, which is over here, minus 393.5 kilojoules per mole, and we have two moles of it, so it's two moles times minus 393.5 kilojoules per mole. That will give us the total amount of kilojoules for the production of carbon dioxide. Now we have three moles of water, and liquid water has a form enthalpy of formation of 285.5 eight kilojoules, three moles, so plus three moles times a minus 285.8 kilojoules per mole. And this here would be the enthalpy of all the products. Now we're going to subtract from that the enthalpy of all the reactants. So starting with ethane, C2H6, it's right over here. It's minus 84.68 kilojoules per mole. And how many moles do we have? We have one mole. So we have one mole times a minus 84.68 kilojoules per mole. And then we have to add to that the amount of enthalpy change for oxygen. Now notice for oxygen gases, that's the lowest energy state. It's equal to zero kilojoules, so that's plus seven halves moles times zero kilojoules per mole. And this here is the enthalpy of all the reactants. Of course, I didn't have to write this because I knew it was zero, but just to illustrate, I just added it there. So here we have the enthalpy of all the products minus the enthalpy of all the reactants. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab a calculator and figure out what that's equal to. So two times this, so it would be two times 393.5. And that's minus, of course. So let me put in the intermediate values. So this is equal to a minus 787 kilojoules. Notice that the moles cancel out. Plus a negative number, so that's minus. That would be three times 285.8 equals, and that would be 857.4, 857.4 kilojoules. That's also minus because these products are in a lower energy state than the reactants we started from, so these are negative. And then we have minus times the minus, that becomes plus. Uh, notice the moles cancel out here, the moles cancel out here, minus times minus plus, that would be plus 84.68 kilojoules. And finally, plus zero, because that adds up to zero. Now all we have to do is add these together, so we have this is a minus, uh, minus 787, and plus 84.68, 84.68 equals, and that means one, minus 1,559.72 kilojoules. That is the enthalpy change in this reaction. Okay, first of all, notice it is negative. Negative means that it's in now in a lower energy state, so it gave off energy, so that means this is exothermic. So this will be a, reac a reaction that will naturally take place, no energy required, maybe just a little push in the back, because normally when we put ethane and oxygen together, unless you have a source of a flame or something like that, you will not get the reaction going on its own. But a little bit of flame, a little bit of spark, anything will get the reaction going, and now lots of energy will be produced. This much for one mole of ethane, three and a half moles of oxygen, producing two moles of carbon dioxide, and three moles of water and it, of course, liquid water when it's cooled down to 25 degrees centigrade. 
And so here's another nice example of how we calculate the enthalpy change in a reaction.